do. Like I got, I have enough burdens. Mindfulness of the breath meditation. What I encourage you to do is to sit up straight, but don't strain yourself. Keep your feet flat on the floor and close your eyes. If you don't want to close your eyes, it's okay. Just look at the floor a few feet in front of you. At the sound of the meditation bell, what I want to encourage you to do is to bring all of your awareness and attention to your breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Just notice your breath. Notice where you can feel your breath the most easily. It might be in your nostrils with the actual touch of the air or it might be in your stomach or chest. Just choose whatever place it is easiest to keep your awareness on. Breathing in and breathing out. Just notice the breath. This is slightly different from other meditations that you may have experienced. Instead of breathing deeply on purpose, just breathe naturally. If you're breathing deeply, just notice that you're doing that naturally. If you're breathing shallowly, just notice that you're breathing that way naturally, not by a deliberate intervention. It's just about noticing the breath as it is occurring during this meditation. And you might notice that your mind wanders away from the breath. That's completely normal. No need to get frustrated or annoyed or think you're doing anything wrong. Whenever that happens, Gently bring your awareness back to your breath and refocus. Think of your breath as an anchor, just as a ship uses an anchor to stay in one place in the sea or the ocean. The breath is like an anchor to the body, to the present moment. It keeps us here and now, rather than floating off into the ocean of imagination. Simply breathing in and breathing out. In a few moments, I'm going to ring the bell. When you hear the sound of the bell, notice the sound until you cannot hear it any longer or until the sound is gone before opening your eyes. Breathing in, breathing out. The resources that God has put in your life everything is going to be okay. The number one point I wanna make in this short vlog is change your mind, change your thinking. You will not and you cannot change anything that you do not acknowledge. Acknowledge the fact that you are in a space in your life where you are tripping because you're getting older and, and, and you're thinking it's a bad thing, but it is a good thing. It is a good thing because aging gracefully is a blessing from God and nobody else can give it to you. This is uh, 
a little spiritual talk, a little word of God, a little praise and worship, a little vlogging. But you got to keep moving forward. And if you don't know where to go and you're at a crossroads, stand still. Don't move to the left. Don't move to the right. Stand still and know that God is God all by himself. And he has a plan for your life. I love you. It's Dreamy. For Dreamy Table 916, Alternative Life Solutions, you have a blessed day, morning, afternoon, evening. You know you got a story and you just don't want to wait. Adrena's Haven 916, you know we can relate. Adrena's Haven 916. Adrena's Haven 916. Adrena's Haven 916. lovelies it's Drina and on this particular video I just want you all to understand that life happens life happens due to life changes and daily circumstances or uh, life changes and daily hassles we can do what we have to do to continue to move forward even in the midst of adversity whatever your faith is whatever you believe in you have to know that your circumstances are not bigger than your creator focus on what you can control does that mean that every day is going to be a walk in the park absolutely not it's not gonna be rainbows and butterflies but we have to make the best of our situations and make the best choices that we can and work with what we got. You got this.